Hi, I'm Colin. I'm Sarah. And we're here with Spingo to give you a front row seat into the creation of an event. So today we're going to be looking at an event here in Salt Lake City that has created a lot of hype and buzz. And we're going to look at what they did and how they did it and share that with you. Okay, Colin, where are we going today? So we're actually going to go and check out Cavalia. I'm sure you've seen it down on the freeway. Um, you can't miss it. No, you can't miss it. <laughs> um, they're here for the next couple of weeks and they've done a lot to build up a lot of buzz and excitement around their event. Pretty much everybody in Salt Lake has heard about it. Yeah, I heard they sold 10,000 tickets right when they announced it and that they added in a whole nother week of shows. Yeah, they built this tent and then the next week they had signs up on the freeway and then the next week you were getting hit with Facebook, uh, ads. Facebook ads and then the next week the news was interviewing yeah. them and then the TV commercials. And then the TV commercials, it was all it was like boom, 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 boom. So this is the box cars that they've stacked on top of each other. There's probably seven or so seven or eight stacked on top of each other, but it's a giant sign. But there are a few things that, for me, are kind of weird about it. The most amazing show tagline is... Really? It's not the is most... Is it really the most amazing <laughs> show? Yeah, you don't really have any idea what this is. I didn't know what it was until someone was like, oh, it's Cirque du Soleil, but with horses. And I don't think anyone's going to remember that it was .net. No. Even more interesting, when you do Google Cavalia.com, it is for sale. So I would probably try and buy it instead of going with the .NET. And there is the giant tent. Oh, it's huge. So you said it's the size of a football field? It's the size of a football field inside. <laughs> I know. It's, it's the largest traveling tent in the world. How did you find out about the event? Hard to not see it. <laughs> yeah. It's right there. I fly it all the time. It was on TV. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, awesome. So did you read a story about it? Uh, no, it was just uh, like just a an department. Yeah, department ad. Cool. Hear about it. Uh, from a different city that we were traveling in, they were there and I wanted to see it. Really? No, so I saw the big sign. It was static to come. We were coming home you know, from our vacation and my husband goes, whoa, what's that? Oh, I saw the, the marquee and I googled yes. it and, and then I saw the videos and I thought this must be worth it. How did you find out about that? Uh, through Facebook actually. And then I have several friends who came. So it's been showing up more and more and even after I got tickets even more. And everybody we mentioned to were like, oh really, you're going there? Excellent. <laughs> so. lot of thought and effort into where are we gonna put this gigantic tent and they didn't do it in the county fairgrounds or some remote location that had a lot of open space or land they worked with a mall a popular mall right off the freeway and put it in their parking lots they were they were everywhere and I think that's kind of the big takeaway is that it wasn't just any one thing that was able to sell those 10,000 tickets in two weeks. It was a combination of everything that they did. Yeah. 